Hey yo everybody and welcome back to Pokemon Sapphire. I'm a Nick and on the last episode uh, we started going through the forest here and even got a Silcoon who I gave some more experience so he'll literally level up in like the next trainer battle who that's not it. Uh, that was just a random encounter that we're gonna start cutting that shit. Here's the trainer battle I was talking about. If you take bug Pokemon to school, you'll get to be instantly popular. No, I think people just get creeped the fuck out. At least I would be because I fucking hate bugs. Anyway, here's an Ninkata. The only thing that it can really threaten you with is leech life. So, uh, that's fun and stuff. Speaking of which, here's said leech life. If you're used to Gen 7, then... Well, you'll see, Leech Life used to be horribly weak. And why do I talk like that? Because you never know if someone jumps into Pokemon in Gen 7 where Leech Life got a huge buff. Anyway, here's that level 10 Silcoon Sue. Oh, neat, Torchic's also level 15. Because Torchic also gets experience from this. Well, you never know. Anyway, here's evolution time. And with this evolution, we get a move called Absorb. And it only has 20 base power here, so it's kind of weak. So, but, you know what? It'll be okay for what's coming up in a bit. It's okay, just... <laughs> so here's an Aether up here. Very useful for restoring PP of your Pokemon. Come on, people. Oh, hey, Shroomish. Uh, actually, I'm gonna leave this one in because I don't think we've actually experienced Shroomish on camera. But here's the thing. This is basically what happens in these uh, cuts, so... Uh, it's literally just me trying to mash through everything, so, uh... Uh, text boxes, hurry up so I can ember this little shit to death. So, yeah. That's all you're really missing when I cut stuff out. But it's just like, well, Shroomish gets to be on camera, and... We'll worry about that later. Anyway, let's get out of these dank woods and, uh... Acquire berries first before talking to a kid. Cherry berries are uh, neat, restoring paralysis. The orange berries, they're good for this part of the game. And let's talk to you. I like filling my mouth with seeds and then spitting them out fast. You can have this so you can try it out. Use it on a Pokemon and learn a move for firing seeds rapidly. Hello, bullet seed. You're just a multi-hit move that doesn't really get to be taken advantage of until a generation later when skill link becomes a thing. Anyway, here is flowers and stuff. And she's all like, hello, pretty petal flower shop. And this is where you get to a tutorial on berries and stuff that if you plant them in the ground, you get to grow more berries. And she's like, oh, help me and stuff. And you talk to this lady and you get the Whalmer Pail so you can water your berries, which is uh, super neat. And yeah, if you don't pick your berries, they can uh, fall off and regrow so you don't fuck up. But you know, and whatever. This girl gives you a random berry. She gave me a Petra Berry, which cures poisoning, which I think I got some Petra Berries earlier, so. I probably already explained that shit. Either way, this is just a handy little stop. And I wanna go back here because uh, more hidden items like Pokeball. And I think there's a super potion around here. Ugh. Anyway, there's potion. That's right, the super potion was hidden. Yes, 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 yes. I haven't played the game in a, quite some time. Anyway, here's a lady. Let's, uh, sick our beautifly on it. She's like, oh, we've been fated to meet. You mean more like I was just here at the right time? Something like that. 
Anyway, hey Zigzagoon, I'm literally just gonna do this and then just mash A until win. Cause you know, absorb is neat and well, actually this might not take as long as I thought it would. Though I do not approve of those tail whips. Mashing A, mashing A, mashing A. I know at some point already during the recording there's gonna be some audio drift I'll have to have uh, edited because fucking criticals. You bastard. And you're gonna just full restore at this point, which will be a bitch. But it's literally just, I'm mashing A. You could probably hear it in the audio track. Uh, you, you get more draining moves and eventually a move called Silver Wind, which is unfortunately physical for Beautifly in this game because Beautifly takes advantage of special moves. And I don't have Tackle or Poison Sting right now because I didn't evolve it from a Wurmple. And it's like, well, I don't like taking a gamble on that. Oh, and hey, Zigzagoon is dead. That is neat. Well, fainted, but you get the point. The lady has been beaten down and I took a bunch of money. And it's actually at this point where I'm just gonna swap Torchic back into the front slot because this lass here is not good for Beautifly. Because I think she has a Talo, and Talo is no good for, uh, bugs. Because I don't like getting pet. Oh, Lotad, hello! Anyway, we're just gonna burn it down first. Because Ember is my best move, and one shot, sucker. And this is where the shift actually comes into play, where I knock out a Pokemon, and then we immediately go to the next one. So that's why I'm making it a little harder on myself. Neat. Anyway, you're down. Well, I actually talked about shift in the last episode. What the hell am I talking about? I'm recording these far enough apart that it's like, fuck. Anyway, here's some girls. If you're playing Emerald version, you ha they will battle you on the spot if you have two or more Pokemon. So uh, here is Ruby and Sapphire's introduction to double battles, which is a very popular way of battling, especially in the competitive scene, so uh, this is where that all starts. So we're just, pfft. yes, you can target your own allies, but don't do that unless you're planning around it. Anyway, some embers and, you know, absorb will probably mop up this battle relatively quickly and yeah, just gonna get, that was a critical. Yeah, that's what happens when neutral damage happens, and Growl's gonna do nothing to us because our attacking types are special, so that means diddly squat, and this low tad should just go down in no time at all. Mm. Double battles in this game, when they're forced, the trainers will only have two Pokemon, unlike other ones in the series, and... Before I talk to that man right there, I'ma pick these berries, because these are cherries, and these are the almighty Lepa berries, which are the same as an ether, so you can just grow them and have all the ethers you want and not have to worry about it. And she's like, if you see berries growing, just take them, but plant one in their place, because it's common courtesy, or not, because my battery is dead. Well, my uh, clock is, and she gives you a chesto berry, which is, uh, you get to recover from sleep, so there's a move later in the game called Rest you can get where your Pokemon will fall asleep and heal all its HP and then Chesto Berry will just wake you up from sleep instantly. And now I want to talk to this guy. Why keep it a secret? I'm the water Pokemon expert. Huh? You don't know me? Well, there's a very good reason for that, bub, which we'll see in just a second. Welcome to Magikarp. One of the most pathetic Pokemon ever known. So, you know what? We're gonna use focus energy because maybe getting an extra cr chance of crit will be nice. And all Magikarp is able to do until level 15 is splash, which means you have to do the swap trick like usual. And yeah, it's this is not the first time in the series that you just fight a dude who has a ton of Magikarp. There are some people who and later in the series who will have a full team of Magikarp. And it's just like, you sad, 
sad man. And it's Magikarp, we're gonna scratch you. Of course, I'll never get any of those crits. I get the crit right at the end. You bitch. Gotta tick that crit counter up, because why the fuck not? It's fun. And you know, before we actually go into the next town, we're gonna, s I'm actually gonna do a little bit of grinding because Torchic is so close to level 16 and I want you to see what happens when that uh, triggers. And I should have gone in the forest for this. I really should have gone in the forest for this one. But you know what? You're gonna see me down a wingle and what'll probably, yeah, one shot. And you're not gonna, oh my God, it's, li you're, okay, I'm literally just gonna leave these randoms on screen because uh, it's not even gonna take any time at all for Torchic to uh, level up. And 16 is a very important level for Torchic actually because this is the level Torchic evolves! Hooray! And I also get to learn Peck. I will delete a move for Peck. I will delete Growl. Torchic learns Peck, which is neat, I guess, for fighting types. Anyway, Torchic is evolving. Say hello to Combuskin. Who is it? Who is the first of the multiple fire fighting type starters? So, uh, that's neat. It was neat at first. And it was neat again with Infernape, who was super good. But when it came to the third time around, it just kind of, uh, fell flat. Let's just say Embor is not a good Pokemon. Anyway, what we have coming up is Rustboro City, but we're actually gonna go around because of an item that they put behind the fence for some fucking reason. It's an X-Defend. It's not until like Gen 6, I believe, where the X items actually start giving you two stages instead of one, but they're still useful anyway for like speed runs. So uh, keep that in mind. Here's the usual Pokemart, and here's an important building to, bu to visit, the Cutter's House, because... That determined expression, that limber way you move, and your well-trained Pokemon, you're obviously a skilled trainer! No, wait, don't say a word, I can tell just by looking at you. I'm sure that you'll be capable of putting this HM to good use, no need to be monster shy. Go on, take it! We get HM1 Cut. Also known as the you the moves that bog up teams until Gen 7. Thank God. Cut will cut down the small trees and they do not break after use, unlike normal TMs up until Gen 5. And uh, yeah, most of them were bad. And there's a reason I'm visiting this house because I think it's this kid, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes. My daddy's working at the corporation. My daddy made this, but I can't use it, so you can have it. How about a free premiere ball? So, uh, that's neat. Everybody loves free shit. Free shit. All right. Crack the shoulders. Gonna go and heal. All right, did the healing, and I wanna go in here super quick because I want to talk to this man. And he's like, students, what the hell are you doing? And you just get a free item called a quick claw, which is uh, you have a small percent chance to be able to act first, negating speed priority. So uh, that's neat. There's also a trade you can make in that house if you wish. So uh, that's neat. And Devon Corporation is right over there, but the final destination is uh, here at our first gym in Rustboro, which is the rock type. So uh, this is where uh, Beautify can come into effect. 
actually, because we have a fire fighting type, fighting is super effective against rock, so, uh, this is where Beautify comes into play, and using Absorb, because Geodudes are uh, rock and ground type, they take four times effective damage, so, uh, and it's usually not until level 11, fuck you! Not until level 11 that they learn rock throw, so, uh, Beautifly is safe on the lower level Geodudes. All they can really threaten me with is Tackle. Just gonna get that experience. Raise you up a bit. And here comes... What do you know? More Geodudes. And unlike Gen 5 and onward, if they have Sturdy, they still get one hit KO'd because that was the gen that they made that good. Right, we just have one more to go. Just more Geodude, Geodude, dude, dude. I'm just talking out of my ass at this point. Because, you know what? It's actually kind of fun to just kind of talk out of your ass and just mumble random stuff. Now, are you serious? Are you s <sighs> Beautifly. Anyway, Roxanne and is the leader and stuff. You gotta beat her to get the badge which will be next, and this Geodude will actually have Rock Throw, which if it lands on Beautifly, Beautifly is toast because both Bug and Flying are weak to Rock, so uh, that would be bad. That would be very... It goes for Defense Curl instead of Rock Throw. The AI is smart. Except it's not. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I just having a moment there. The AI is a dumb. And you know what? We're actually going to swap to Combuskin because Beautifly will be our uh, pocket Pokemon. And thanks to Combuskin's secondary fighting type, the uh, rock type moves actually only do neutral damage to Combuskin instead of being super effective because that's how uh, types work. And here's our first leader battle against Roxanne. She has two Pokemon. She has a level 14 Geodude, which will be annoying, but this is where Double Kick comes into play. Not a one-hit kill, but you know what? That's fine. And here is the TM of the gym, Rock Tomb. I have... A bit of a story with this one, so, uh... I had a moment in my original Ruby version recording where I think I missed four times in a goddamn row, and it was hilarious and annoying at the same time. You know what? I think while I'm talking about this, I'm gonna have that clip playing over, so, uh, that'll be fun. By the way, here's a nose pass. Nosepass is pure rock type and is a bitch. And because of the speed drop from uh, Rock Tomb, it's actually outspeeding me, so uh, that's a thing. And if it hardens again, I pr it's probably out of the two hit KO range, so uh, we're. Or crit! <laughs> My starter is crit crazy! I don't know what else to say! <laughs> well. That's gonna be, uh, something, I guess. Roxanne has lost, and she's gonna give the badge because it's like, oh, this is what, uh, the rules say. We got the, the stone badge. Whee! Having the stone badge will let us use cut, so, uh, that'll be neat. And she'll even give us, uh, a t the TM for Rock Tomb, which... While inaccurate as fuck, it'll, it'll be neat to have a rock type move. I think Combuskin can actually learn it. You know what? Let's just boot up the damn thing and see for myself. Yes, it is. Also, for cut, I can't remember if Beautifly. Beautifly can't learn it. What the hell am I thinking? And now for our uh, story moment. Get out! Get out of the way! Wait, please! Don't take my goods! 
we'll take care of that next episode. So, on today's episode of Pokemon Sapphire, we uh, got through the rest of the woods, both of our party members evolved, and we got ourselves a shiny little badge. And on the next episode, we'll see what the hell's going on with that. So with that, I'm a Nick, and I'll see you guys the next time. <laughs>